Hello, Facebook land. Hello, everybody. If you are uh, watching the replay, my name is Sarah Metter, Associate Director uh, for Whole Brain Teachers of America, and uh, we are talking super improver today. So we are uh, going to go through uh, everything that you need to know about super improver. Um, we are going to hopefully answer all of your questions. If you're watching the replay and you um, would like to ask some questions, go ahead and post them down in the comments. Um, so that's what's happening right now. So I am just gonna get a few things ready while some people are jumping in. I see we've got some people here now. I am using a new software today, so we're gonna see how that works. Um, but hopefully, oh yeah, it does, hi Nancy. Um, so I'm using the Ecamm software. I read about it on a pretty cool tech blog, so we're gonna see how that works today. So hopefully it'll work pretty well. Hi, Angel. Um, so if you're joining us, go ahead and uh, leave a comment with uh, where you're from, what you teach, um, and how familiar you are with Whole Brain Teaching. Um, I am, hi Liz. I am uh, Sarah Metter, Associate Director for Whole Brain Teachers of America. I teach uh, middle school science. I teach eighth grade science in Northern Illinois. Um, I've been teaching for 18 years. Um, and I love middle school. Middle school is my jam. That's my people. I love the sarcasm and I can't imagine teaching the littles. Um, I've been associate director for Whole Brain Teaching, thanks Nancy, um, for several years and I'm just really passionate and excited about sharing Whole Brain Teaching with you, with the world, um, and helping teachers uh, have more fun in the classroom because that's what Whole Brain Teaching is all about. Hi Kathy, welcome from Oklahoma. So while we're waiting for a few more people to jump in, I do want to uh, just remind everybody if you're um, new to the Whole Brain Teaching land that we do have a website, wholebrainteaching.com. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit uh, on the website tonight, um, but on the main Whole Brain Teaching page, you'll see all of our conferences, and we have tons of conferences coming up. Um, so go to wholebrainteaching.com, scroll down on the main page, and you'll see all of the upcoming conferences. Um, so that's very exciting. So actually, I'm going to jump over to the website right now so I can show you some pretty cool things. So here is what I love about this great software. So let's see if it works. Might be too zoomed in. I gotta zoom out a little bit. All right, so this is our website, wholebrainteaching.com. I'm super zoomed in, so I gotta zoom back out. There we go. So go to wholebrainteaching.com and then you're just going to scroll to see all of the conferences. So we have Ohio, Louisiana, Washington, and if you click on this, it'll take you to the registration page if you click on the, the state name, but don't forget to look below where it says use code to register. So this is the passcode that you'll need in order to enter the site. It helps us keep out spam and things like that. So Ohio, Louisiana, Washington, Nevada, Illinois, Texas, Missouri, New York, and Oklahoma, and more are always being added. Um, if you're interested in getting uh, a conference set up in your area, you're going to click underneath where it says coming soon, um, have an administrator fill out a training request, and we would love to uh, jump in and, uh, and come do a conference in your area. So this, and now I'm going to have to zoom back in, this is what we are talking about today. We are talking about Super Improver. So leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you currently use Super Improver, um, if you have implemented it, um, or if you've only thought about implementing it. Um, so the big idea with Super Improver is it's really a shift in how we think about our students and, and our classrooms and our curriculum. Um, and the best way to, to explain that is to talk about our favorite race. So imagine that you have two students. We have Emo Turtle, we have Scoots Wolf, uh, we have Slow Turtle and Fast Wolf, um, and they're going to do a foot race. So they're going to race against each other. Uh, Fast Wolf wins, Slow Turtle loses, so Scoots is going to get an A and Emo is going to get an F. Next day, same race, same issues. Scoots blows Emo out of the water, Scoots gets an A, Emo gets an F. Um, now what happens after a very few short races is uh, the fast wolf realizes that he doesn't really have to run very hard, he's still going to win, um, and Slow Turtle begins to loaf uh, because he knows he's never going to win. Uh, and this is the race that we put our students through every day. Um, every day we are, are racing our students uh, to unattainable goals. Um, 
this is a regular classroom. This is our, our system. Um, and this is not the system that we want. As teachers, we cannot reward for ability. We have to reward, reward for improvement. So imagine a new race. Now, Emo and Scoots are going to race. However, they're only racing against themselves. So when Slow Turtle gets done with his first race, that's his record. If he wants an A, he simply has to break his record. Now we're rewarding for improvement. So now Emo and Scoots both will run as fast as they possibly can because they're going against themselves. They're battling themselves. They're battling their own personal records. And that's what we want. We want a reward for improvement and not reward for ability. Um, and that's what the Super Improver is all about. Um, because when you reward for improvement, not ability, every racer wins. And every racer has the same chance to win because everyone has room for improvement. So the Super Improver system is a whole brain teaching system that, yes, that's right, reward for improvement, not ability. Um, the system of, of the Super Improver is a system that everything in whole brain teaching um, wraps around. So I'm going to come back just for a minute. So when we think about using the super improver in our classroom. The most important thing that we have to do as teachers is we have to change our goggles. We have to change the way that we look um, at what our students are doing. Um, we are so used to, we have benchmarks, we have state tests, we have reading levels, we have all these things that we need them to get to. And so we spend so much time with those kids who are under that we don't spend as much time as we should on the kids that are above. So when you change your mindset, you change your goggles, we're now looking at where each of our students are. This is their record and our job is to raise them up. Every single student, whether they're way down here or way up here, our job is to raise them up. And so everything in whole brain teaching wraps around this idea of rewarding for improvement, not for ability. But we have to figure out a way to make that system work. And how does it work in a regular classroom? So bring on the super improver display. So in this display, what you're gonna see is there are uh, levels from turtle down at the bottom all the way up to peregrine falcon. So you're a turtle, then a penguin, then a kangaroo, then a panda, then a wolf, then a tiger, then a cheetah, then a black marlin, um, then a red hawk, and we had to add in a couple more uh, hawks so that we can eventually get up to the peregrine falcon. And what's beautiful about the system is they are ranked in order of their speed. So to move from a turtle to a penguin, um, it is five improvements. And so students, as they are rewarded for improving, will move up all of those levels. So it looks like this if you have it on your wall. You have each student's name on the wall, uh, and they all start out as white because they are all turtles. And then as you notice improvements, you award stars. And the stars go on the student's card. So you can award improvements for anything, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But as you can see here, student one has earned two stars, student 13 has earned one. So as you award for improvement, they get their stars. Now, if they get the right number of stars, and here's the levels right here. So here's turtle. To move up from a turtle, you need five stars. So as we... Here, I'm going to go to this one. Um, as students continue to improve, you'll see that the color of their card changes. So now student 1, student 7, student 19, they've moved up to penguins. The cards don't move, just the color of the card changes. That's the beauty of that system right there. Um, reading the comments as we go through too so I can try to answer your questions. And I do see we have several executive board members. Oh, I see Andre's here. Hi, Andre. Andre and Nancy... Um, just scrolling back through. Oh, thanks, Andre. Um, they are two of our amazing executive board members. I think there's some other on here too. Laura Forehand is here as well, Platinum Certified. Um, so if you have questions and I don't get to them, they will be answering them in the comments as well. So we'll make sure that I'm going to move this over here. You can't see that. That's okay. Um, so anyway, so we have uh, all of the students' cards on the wall. They all start as white, they get improvements, they earn stars, they earn enough stars, they move up through the levels. And so you can see as time would go on how the colors would all change. Now one of the biggest questions we get is, what do you award? How do you award for improvement? And so I'm going to come back over here 
because you can award improvement in anything. Um, writing, class discussion, use of adjectives or prepositions in their writing or in their oral writing, um, reading speed, reading comprehension, mastery of math hacks, showing math work, lining up, uh, taking notes, test scores, anything. It can be academic or behavioral. And that's the important part right there. So I'm going to stop just for a minute and just kind of review what we've got here and then see if I can answer some questions. So I'm going to come back to this slide right here. This is your super improver wall display where you have each student with a card, they get improvements, they move up levels. So let's do questions. I'm going to see if I can scroll through and find some questions. Ooh, Jane, it's 109 degrees in Arizona. That is crazy. So, circle for themselves. Yes. Ooh, I see lots of people are brand new to whole brain teaching. That's awesome. Ooh, April, we got an eighth grade teacher in the house. Yay. Awesome. All right, I'm not seeing any questions that haven't already been answered. So if there are some still out there, go ahead and post it again. Um, but I'm going to try out something kind of cool because I think, ha ha, see what I just did there? So Gibbs Knight, I'm posting your comment. Um, Gibbs says, WT is fun. Kids get right into stars and makes it easy to give feedback to move them forward. And you are absolutely right. So however you choose to give stars, some teachers like to give them right in the moment. Some give them um, at the end of the day, whenever works for your schedule. But it really is a great way to give them feedback and get them motivated um, to continue working. And I love that I can put your comments right on the screen. Isn't this software like seriously super cool? Hmm. I kind of like it. All right, so keep posting your questions and I'll keep coming back to them. Um, we are going to jump back over and there we go. So later on in the year, it might look something like this. However, one of the things, ooh, Sherry, great question. Um, I'm going to get to your question in just a second about the presentation. Um, one of the things that I want you to see about this uh, image right here is that we have student 20 on a wolf and student 15 still at a penguin. That's one, two, three, four, five levels different. Um, and this image isn't accurate because you would never want to have your students five levels apart. So if you get your students who are really improving and you're really rewarding stars um, and they're three levels above, you want to stop and you want to have those students receive for every improvement two stars, one to keep and one to give away. So when students are three levels above the lowest student, they can earn double stars, one to keep and one to give away to any other improving student at those bottom levels. So student eight, student 20, student 21, they would receive two stars and could give them to any of the students that are still in white when they notice an improvement, which is a great way to get kids working as a team um, and awarding each other. Oh, Catherine has a really good question. So I'm gonna pull her question up before we move on to anything more. So let me, all right, let's see if it did it. Ha ha, it did it. So should we stick with a pace to be able to make it to Peregrine Falcon? This was my first year and we didn't make it. Now, this is a really important point. Um, by the end of the year, you may have students reach that Peregrine Falcon level. Um, and what you can do is you can take their picture, you can put it up on the wall, um, and they are now living legends. So I tell my students that if you make it to living legend, if you make it to that Peregrine Falcon level, then you will be on my wall forever. And next year, I reference those students that were able to make it to Peregrine Falcon, and they are now living legends. And they'll come back years later and look at their picture and see it's still there. I actually just had some kids do that um, at the end of last year 
to come in and see if their picture was still up. Um, now I'll talk about how it's tweaked in middle school a little bit later. So my point is that you don't have to have students make it to that Peregrine Falcon level. It is really difficult to get there. There are 240 stars that you need in order to get to that Peregrine Falcon level. Um, so you may have years that you never get there. I was just talking with Heidi Martin. She is uh, another executive board member and I think she's only had three students make it to uh, Living Legend in seven years. Um, she's really harsh um, and she makes it really hard. Man, those kids work and work and work for it. So it's okay if you don't, um, if you don't have students that make it to that level. So I'm going to grab... Gibbs, you are right. Andre, his videos are amazing. Um, I did see a question. Somebody had asked about these slides and let me tell you that um, Whole Brain Teaching 3.4 um, is available as a free download very soon on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I am going to um, put the link up later. Um, if you go into Teachers Pay Teachers, go to the Whole Brain Teaching official store. That's what it's called. Um, and that's where all of our downloads are. And of course, everything on Teachers Pay Teachers is absolutely free. Um, and so all of these slides that I'm showing you tonight, um, all the slides that we use in conferences all summer long are going to be available at Teachers Pay Teachers. They're not there yet. I meant to get them up by today. And I my street name is TFAB for Technologically Fabulous, but I failed in the technology because I wasn't able to get them uploaded. I had some issues, so um, I'm hoping to have that done by tomorrow. So you'll see them on Teachers Pay Teachers very, very soon. All right, so we're going to keep rocking through this because we were talking about um, what we can award for improvement. So we're going to come back to this slide right here. So we can award for improvement in lots and lots of things, but what you can also include is all of your whole brain teaching skills. So our skills include classias, mirror words. Our skills include the brainies. Um, so this is part of that download that you can get if you go to Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, it's download for free. Um, and this is the beginner super improver skills. Um, it's really, really cool. They're all right here for you. You can print this display. I like to use the website blockposters.com um, where you can take one page and make it a huge poster on your wall. Um, and so you can use these as your focus strategies of what are we going to improve on today. Um, one thing that I like to do is set a specific focus for the day. So today I'm really going to be looking for improvement in blank. And you can still award stars for other things as well. Um, but having that focus helps me as a teacher remember to watch for it. It lets the kids know what I'm, um, what I'm wanting them to improve in. And it might just be speed of uh, the callback class, yes. It might be big gestures in a teach okay. Um, it might be um, detail adder sentences in their writing. So it can be anything you want. But if you set a focus for the day, it kind of helps you to um, stick with it. Um, so now let's talk about leveling up. So we talked about how you award stars. You can award them for anything, any kind of improvement. Just make sure you tell the student exactly what that improvement was. Um, and then to level up, to go from turtle to penguin, you need five stars. From penguin to kangaroo, you need five stars. And notice as you get higher in the chart, it takes more and more stars um, to level up. So in the beginning of the year, you give out only a couple stars, make them really, really work for it. And as the year goes on, it's really gonna rain stars as you try to amp up excitement and get through the rest of the year. Um, here is an awesome display uh, just to show you kind of what it looks like. So we have the turtle, the peregrine falcon levels, and then each student has their card right there. Um, and here's another one with a whole bunch of students in a class. And part of this download too gives you these awesome cards right here. So you can use um, just regular pieces of paper. I used to use construction paper and I would just cut it to size, write a kid's name on it. But what I love about these is you already have the stars all right here. So all you have to do is color in the stars and it's, you can just print these right from this download. Um, print them on black paper, print them in color, print, print, print them on the colored paper when it's a color level. Um, and they're really, really easy to use. And so they're all right here. So the next slide I really love. So if you really look carefully, you can see that there are dots all across this classroom. And every so often you're going to see a poster. And it's really hard to see um, 
blackposters.com, Kathy, just Google search it. Blackposters.com is the website to make the, a really big poster. Um, if you look, you'll see there's five stars. There's a turtle, and then five stars, and then a penguin, and then five stars, and then a kangaroo. And so the the wall display is a vertical or a horizontal wall display across the top of your room. And it gets swirly because there's so many stars needed to get from one to the next. So there's 240 dots spread across the entire classroom, wrapping the whole room in... Um, in Super Improver, which is really, really cool. And I'm not sure whose room that is. I think that, oh, it says right here, that is Heidi Martin's classroom, which is so cool. It's awesome. Now we have a lot of different types of teachers in the building. Um, and so I wanna talk about how you can get everybody in your building awarding stars. So if you are a self-contained teacher, this would be a third grade teacher or a sixth grade teacher or a kindergarten teacher, and you have the same group of kids um, all day, um, you are a self-contained teacher and you simply award your stars to your students, the students put them on your card. Um, but if you are a mega teacher, um, these are your administrators, your special teachers, your uh, recess aides, your lunch ladies who see all of the students in a day, they can award stars too. They give the stars to the students, the students take them back to their homeroom teacher, the homeroom teacher puts them on the wall. So that absolutely is a great way to get everybody in your school looking for improvement. If you are a departmentalized teacher, um, like reading, math, specials, things like that, um, you can oh, do the same thing. You could give a, a star to the whole class, um, and the class then all earns one on there. Thanks, Andre, for that link. Um, yeah, I think that's the right link. That looks right. <laughs> um, so you can award them that way. Now, I am a secondary teacher. So I don't use individual students because I see 150 students in a day. So instead, we play a game called MindHawk. And MindHawk is also a free download at the Whole Rain Teaching Official Store on Teachers Pay Teachers. It explains completely how to do the Super Improver in secondary. We call it MindHawk. Um, and this tweak is instead of having individual students, you have class periods. So we play class versus class. So now we have period one versus period two versus period three. Same idea though, is that the class has to earn stars for improvements. So we do a lot of pre-test, post-test. You can have an individual that earns a star for the whole entire class. Um, you can do a lot of variations and that's all in MindTalk. Um, and in Mind Talk, the upper grades, we don't use the animals, we use um, the sports. So we start as a scrub and you end as a living legend. So two variations, one for self-contained teachers, one for um, upper grade teachers. So I'm going to jump back in and see if we've got some questions that I can answer. Um, I have been trying to follow along. It's kind of hard to follow along with the comments and speak coherently at the same time. So I hope I'm doing okay. Um, but I do see uh, Andre and Nancy and everybody, Stephanie I see is here too, are doing a great job of answering questions as we go along. So thank you so much for that. Um, and yes, here is a really big idea. Thank you, Nancy. The whole school community needs to support this idea of improvement. If you can get um, your whole school to just buy into this mindset shift, man, you have a whole new kind of school environment there, which is, is really what we want. We want everybody... Um, to buy into this idea of improvement because this is what it's all about. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys are doing a great job answering all the questions. All right, so some other things that I want to talk to you about um, in terms of uh, Super Improver, and this is probably one of the things that I love the best. Um, when I use Super Improver in my room, and you can do it um, in any grade level, it's this idea of super speed games. So if you go to, again, our Whole Brain Teaching Official store on Teachers Pay Teachers, you'll see that there's tons of super speed games, um, and they all work the same way. They work on, on this idea of doing something for a minute, setting a record, and then trying again simply to beat that record. That's it. That's a super speed game. So we've got um, super speed math, for example, where there's sheets um, where you've probably seen them like the old school timed tests that still take place in some schools um, where they try to, you know, get 50 math problems done in three minutes or whatever it is. Um, but in the whole way teaching way, we don't try to work to get a certain number in a certain amount of time. We simply try to improve. So if you... Um, use the super improver, the, excuse me, the super speed math game, 
the students would do as many problems as they can in a minute. They count them, that's their record. They go again and simply try to beat their score. If they beat their score, that's a star on the super improver wall. Um, their super speed 100 with the 100 most used sight words where they um, in one minute see how much they can read um, and then they try again simply to beat their score. So you get the idea here of these super speed games. It's all the same thing where we set a record and we try to break a record. Um, I do it with my students all the time. Um, we use um, complete sentences. So I'll have my students partnered up ones and twos. The one's going to stand up and they're going to see how many complete sentences they can speak in one minute. They're sitting partners, so I have ones and twos. The one's going to stand, the two's going to sit, um, and the two's is simply going to count. Um, so as the partner stands, we use capital letters and we use periods. Er, so they have to speak in complete sentences on whatever topic I give them. Um, coherent, you know, deep, critical thinking um, included, how many sentences you can do in a minute, do it again. And then I'll amp up the critical thinking and give them specific brainies to use. So we love the because clapper. That's one of our brainies. We use the for example a lot. Um, if then is another brainy. Um, if you're interested in the brainies, they are also at Teachers Pay Teachers, Whole Brain Teaching Official Store. Um, and there are lots of uh, critical thinking words um, that we use too. So I'll give them specific words to use and they have to include them in their sentences. Um, they see how many sentences they can speak in a minute and do it again to try and beat their score. And every time they do that, it's a star on the super improver wall. Now, because I'm in secondary and we do period versus period, one way that you can tweak it is every student that improved is a star line. So you can go one, two, three, four, five. So five student improvements is a star for the whole class. You can really tweak it and play around with it to do whatever works for you. Because remember, it's not about the stars. The stars are not the point. The point is to get your students to want to improve, to work towards improving. And that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Andre, great point, thank you. So I'm gonna pull Andre's comment over. Um, one of the great things that we can do in secondary too is to set goals, and you can do this um, in elementary classrooms as well. Um, I always start the year off with uh, seated before bell, and so when the bell rings, I count to see how many students were in their seats. I write that number up on the board. If tomorrow there's more students in their seats, we broke that record, that's a star on the super improver wall. Um, we do a materials check uh, every day also. Um, I have my, all my students stand up and I'll say, hold up your pencil. If you can't, if you didn't bring your pencil, you don't have one. You got to sit down. Once you sit down, you can't ever get back up again. Um, so hold up your pencil, hold up your notebook, hold up your science book, you know, whatever the materials that you have are. Um, however many students are still standing, I count them up. That's my counter finger. Um, count them up. And uh, however many brought all of their materials, I write that number up on the board. And we'll do the same thing the next day, trying to beat our score. So you can set specific goals like that um, to award as well. All right. So what other questions? Throw them up. Throw them up. Let me see some questions. Ah, oh, Sherry, I'm putting your comment up. This is making me want to start school tomorrow. Please don't hate me. Man, it is almost July, if you can believe it. It's crazy. But I love teaching, and so I am with you, Sherry. That's why I pulled your comment up. Um, I always start planning for the next year, like the day after school gets out. It's craziness. Um, all right, so keep throwing those questions up. We're going to come back here and do um, some more Super Improver stuff from these slides because there's some great stuff in here I want to show you. Um, so one thing that is awesome, I'm just going to pull this big one up, um, in an elementary school is to have each student with a laminated effort chart on their desk. If you use the effort charts, leave a comment, let us know how it's going. Um, the effort chart you'll notice has um, the four animals along the side, two of them are positive, two of them are negative. Um, the ones that are highest are the best, the ones that are lowest are the worst. Um, and so as you uh, are walking around your classroom, you walk around with a Sharpie um, and you make a mark on the student's card um, showing where their effort is. And so let's say at the end of the day Monday, let's say there's two tallies here and one tally here. So that's three positive marks. And there's one tally here. So that's one negative mark. That means the student got two more positives than negatives. That student earned two stars on their super improver card. So you can do an effort chart all day long and at the end of the day tally them up um, to see 
how many Super Improver stars they earned. And they earn as many as they are ahead on this game. It's almost like a mini scoreboard game for every student right on their desk. Um, this, a great time to use this would be when they're doing writing um, or any kind of seated silent work. Um, if their eyes are on the target, um, all of these things you can mark on your effort chart. And if you use a Sharpie, then they can't erase them by accident. Um, and if you just color over the Sharpie with a dry erase marker, it'll wipe right off. Um, it's a really great trick for laminated pieces of paper. Um, and all of that is explained right here as well. One chart does it all. So if you use the level charts, let me know. Let me know how it's working. Ooh, great questions. So Chrissy wants to know, let's see, did I do it? Did I do it, Chrissy? I don't think I did it. Let me try again. Christy wants to know, where can I find the effort chart? Um, so the effort chart is available um, right now if you go to, to the whole, whole brain teaching, okay, my words are gone, the whole brain teaching official store on Teachers by Teachers, you will see um, there is a whole download, um, and actually, I'm going to show you this because this might help you find it better. So I have been working this summer. I'm going to zoom back out so you can see it better. Um, I have been working this summer on redesigning the website. Um, if, if you've been with Whole Brain Teaching for a while, you know things change often as you know things do um, so that we can always tweak things and I'm going to pull this bigger. There we go. All right, now I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, um, we're always tweaking things to make them better. Um, and one of the tweaks that we did um, on this website, so I just went to wholebrainteaching.com, I put my mouse over freebies, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to this link right here that says treasury. And one of the things I've been working on with the website is trying to get everything um, kind of linked and organized. And so it's loading, so it's taking a minute to load. But in the treasury is where you can find um, everything that is whole brain teaching. Um, and when I say everything, I don't really mean everything because I'm not done yet, but it's a work in progress. Um, and so if you want, so here's the download for MindTalk. Um, here's the website page for the Super Improver. There is a page that explains if you use Class Dojo, how you can integrate the Super Improver with it. Um, here's where you can download the star cards where you have um, uh, this, the actual cards with the student's name on it that goes on the wall. There's a couple different options. There's also a couple different effort chart options. There's a smaller version um, that's more easily printable to put on their desks. You can print um, level posters, display posters. Um, there's also a staff and a family super improver. Um, that we'll talk about in a little bit, but if you come all the way down here to Coach's Secrets, this one says WBT 3.0 full download. So that is very similar to what we've been looking at tonight in the slides, but tomorrow you'll see 3.4 because this summer we've already gone through four small tweaks and variations um, of the document and we're ready to upload the new one. And so everything is available there. So feel free to come on over and grab this one. Um, it takes you, if you click on it, it takes you right to, and of course you have to wait five years, um, Teachers Pay Teachers um, and the, the download that you can grab right there. Which document has the brainies? Yes, yeah, so Jane wants to know which document has the brainies. So in, uh, in this treasury page, oops, I just went away from it, so let me come back for you. In the treasury page, um, it goes through all seven of the steps, um, and then there is, look at all this writing, watch This is all the writing stuff. Um, you're gonna wanna download the Brainy Game, which is right here. So there you go. All right, so we're gonna come back to, um, all right, it's really small now, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna come back to this. Now, the one thing we didn't talk about um, was, let me try and make this bigger for you, um, was uh, Super Improver Island. Super Improver Island um, is something that's new, um, and we're not going to talk about it tonight, but it is available in that document too. Um, if you've been using it a while, if you feel like you're ready for um, the next phase of a Super Improver, um, we can talk about, you can get the document and look into Super Improver Island. 
All right, so I'm gonna come back up to this one right here, which is the most basic slide. Um, and let's just do a review. So when we're talking super improver, if you take anything away from this video, if you're still watching, that's awesome. Um, if you take anything away from the video, uh, it is that we as teachers have to change the way that we view our classrooms. We have to view everything that happens with the lens of improvement. And if you think about those kids that you were, let's call it venting in the teacher's lounge about in August and you're still saying the same names in May, that means that you aren't looking at them with the eyes of improvement because every student is improving if that's your focus. Um, and you just don't notice it sometimes if you're not specifically focusing on it. So an example is I had a, a couple of students in my classroom who were um, very disruptive, um, had the most referrals in the whole school, um, and I worked with them individually. I would give them, you know, if you can just sit in your seat for 10 minutes, that could be a star for the whole entire class. If you can just do this for 15 minutes or setting some small concrete goals, taking them from where they are and just working on moving them up until eventually they're the ones that are leading the class. That's what my beloved rascals are like in my classroom. Um, they are my class leaders. They are the ones who stand and lead the whole entire class in lessons because I specifically focus on looking for those improvements and awarding them for that. A lot of times our most beloved rascals are the ones that have never felt that taste of success because they are sometimes our lower students um, academically, not capability wise. Um, they just have never felt that success. So we want to give them some small concrete things to, to focus on. Um, and we move them up the levels. So the levels have numbers next to it. That tells you how many stars you need to move up. So from turtle to penguin, you need five. From penguin to kangaroo, you need five. From panda to wolf, you need 10. From cheetah to black marlin, you need 20. From bronze hawk to silver hawk, you need 40. And you'll notice that peregrine falcon is infinite because you can become a peregrine falcon and continue getting stars on there as well. Um, so there's no limit. Uh, to how many stars you can get on Peregrine Falcon. So I just threw a lot of information at you in a very short period of time, but that is the basics of the Super Improver system. So I'm going to scroll over real quick just to see if there are any other uh, questions that I can answer. Um, but here are some big takeaways. So takeaway number one is change the way we think about our classrooms and focus on improvement. Um, Takeaway number two is there's tons of stuff on the website. You can download all of these things for free um, to put them up in your wall display. If you don't have any room, you can use Class Dojo. There is a link on our website that explains to you how to do that. Um, takeaway number three is um, you can award for improvement in anything, behavior, academics. Um, takeaway number four is super speed games are life. Uh, we play super speed games all the time. We turn everything into a super speed game. Let's see how let's see how many vocab words you can review in a minute. Now do it again. Try to review even more. Um, it is a great way to add uh, activities and, and games into the classroom, into everything that you do. So I forgot what number I was on, but but those are those are the big takeaways. So if you've watched this whole video, I want to say thank you. Oh, I'm going to take this away. Thanks, Christy, for your question. Um, Oh, I just took the label away too. That's funny. Um, if you watched the whole video, I appreciate you taking the time um, to listen. Um, we do have several other outlets where you can get um, information on whole brain teaching. Obviously, the website is the first place you go. Um, the Facebook page where you are right now is a, a great place to go. There are also grade level groups. If you're not a part of them yet, get there. Um, there is a kinder group, a first, second group, a third, fourth, fifth group, and a sixth through twelfth group. Um, so go there, ask questions, um, and learn from each other. It's a wonderful Whole Brain Teaching community. Uh, we are also on Instagram. So if you go to at Whole Brain Teaching on Instagram, you'll see um, the main page that you definitely want to follow. Um, there's amazing uh, information there as well. And if you go look at who Whole Brain Teaching is following, you'll see all of the executive board members that are on um, Instagram as well. Mine is at WBT Middle. Um, I know Miss Heidi Martin um, at Drop Knowledge 2 um, has been doing, or just started, I think, doing a whole brain teaching basics um, 
tutorial, so you can go there um, and learn about those. And I know she's not doing it this Wednesday, but next Wednesday um, she is going to be back here on Facebook Live um, to do some more stuff. So uh, with that all said, I think we are going to sign off for tonight. I'm going to stick around and answer some questions, um, but I would love um, to see if you are still here with us. I would love to see your your states and your grade levels um, scroll up the screen. I know Coach always used to do that when he did his uh, webcast, and it's just a really great way to end. So let me see all of your states and your grade levels scroll through all those comments, and I just want to say thank you for taking the time out to learn a little bit about Super Improver. I hope it was helpful for you, um, and leave us your comments here or in the grade level groups. So thanks, everybody.